Taylor, from the moment we met, you brought a sense of ease that allowed me to be comfortable and confident in my own skin. I've always been able to be myself with you. It's hard for me to remember what my life was like before I met you. <laughs> You're my guide, my light, and now my other half. I love you forever and always. Chance, I prayed for you before I ever met you. This is just the beginning and I cannot wait to continue our lives together as a married couple. Chauncey and Taylor, life is definitely not easy. We can all give an amen to that, right? But if you truly love each other, life as a couple, and you love, you will always triumph. You two really are perfect for each other. They're so genuine together. They're their authentic selves together every single day. Spike's smiling like never before, and you can see that's from Taylor. There's a level of happiness and comfort you two have around each other that you can't help but bring up a smile to people's faces. Continue to stay strong beside each other in the bad times and cherish the good ones. I can't wait to see where your journey will take you next. Welcome to the wedding of Taylor and Chauncey. Chauncey, from the moment Taylor told us about you, she knew you were the one. And Taylor, we see firsthand how Chauncey brings out the best in you. And I'd say Spike's fallen in love with and is building life with his perfect counterpart. Finally, someone who makes him feel the way he makes all of us feel. Chauncey and Taylor, I knew I couldn't say what I wanted to say without crying. I am so happy how happy you make each other. Taylor has always been the most charismatic, hilarious, honest, smart, and loyal one in the room. Thank you so much for showing Spike what love is and being there for him unconditionally. Taylor, I love you and you're so welcome to our family. We're so happy to have you here and you're such a, a joy to, to be around. Spike's that rare person that everyone would describe as having a good heart. So people say that sometimes about some people, but with Spike it's ubiquitous, and that's about as rare as a hole in one. I am so proud to be your sister. We knew it was coming. <laughs> you are the kindest person I know. I am so honored to be your sister, and I am so happy that you found Taylor. You make me so proud. I've loved every day of my life with you, and I love being your mother, and I'm so happy for you. Spike is so fortunate to have found such a remarkable partner in Taylor, and even luckier still that she chose him back. My rock, my sister, I couldn't imagine my life without you. Oh my gosh, Taylor, you look gorgeous. Oh, where's my little girl in pigtails? Taylor and Chauncey, you are coming together to make something bigger, bigger than what you could be alone.
family and friends, I present to you for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor and Chauncey Lufkin. So, advice from a thrice-divorced woman. <laughs> Always be kind to each other. Life is not an easy road to travel, and you'll have ups and downs, but if you're kind to each other, you can get through anything. This is traditionally the part of the speech where I offer guys advice, but I don't think you'll need it. You've both clearly already made the best decision you'll ever make. Your love is an example to all of us, and I know I speak for everyone here when I say it's truly been an honor to celebrate you this weekend. Taylor and Chauncey, May you love each other with all your heart and soul, knowing this is the most you have to give, and also knowing this will always be enough. Taylor and Chauncey.